What do these numbers mean? Why is it sometimes 3 fourth? Why is it sometimes 4 fourth? That is not a fraction. It is called a time signature. What do they mean? Welcome back to Theory Tuesday series. I'm Eloise. Today, we'll be learning how to count beats in a music. For example, sometimes you may hear But sometimes you may hear Sometimes you may hear defines the beat, do stay tuned the end of the video to get the most out of it. Let's go straight and dive in. Theory Tuesday series, lesson number 6, Time Signature, part 1. What is a time signature? It is made up of two numbers, one on top of the other. Looks a bit like a fraction. Tells us what kind of beat to count. For example, beats of 2, 3, 4 or something else. Emphasis on different beats affects the flavor of the music. Let's look at the most common groupings. Groups of 2, 3, and 4. For example, I have 12 crotchets here. Group them in bars using bar lines. What are bar lines? Bar lines, also known as the measure lines. It is represented by the vertical lines in between notes. We draw vertical lines to separate the notes. To put the 12 crotches, into groups of two, we will draw a bar line after two crotches. See, a bar line after two crotches. So there are two crotches in every bar. In other words, there are two beats, two beats in every bar. If you want to put the 12 crotches into groups of three, we will draw a bar line after three notes after three crotchets or you can say after three beats so there are three beats in every bar three beats every bar if you want to put the 12 crotchets into groups of four you just have to make sure there are four beats in each bar when we play a song we commonly put the emphasis on the first beat of each bar so in a bar some notes are played a little stronger than others. Most common, emphasize the first beat of each bar. Play the note after a bar line a little stronger than the other notes in the bar. For example, let's see how we play Amazing Grace the first three bars on the piano. Middle C, D, E, F, G. See the different types of bar lines. Two thin lines, just like this, it represents the end of a section of music. It means that we should go on to the next section of music. Another type of bar lines, one thin, one thick, just like this. It means that this bar is the very last one. What does a top number in a time signature mean? It means how many beats there are per bar. Top number, when it is 2, represents 2 beats in a bar. When the top number is 3, it means 3 beats in a bar. When the top number is 4, it means 4 beats in a bar. For example, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4. The top number 2, 2 beats. Top number 3, 3 beats. Top number 4, 4 beats. What does the bottom number in a time signature mean? It means what kind of beat to count. For example, 2, 4. The top number is 2. Means 2 beats in 1 bar. The bottom number is 4. Means the beat is a crotchet beat. Do you still remember why 4 represents crotchet? Let's recall lesson number 2. Crotchet is also called a quarter note. Here is a summary of the bottom numbers and its corresponding note duration. 
When you see a one at the bottom, it means semi-brief or a whole note, but this is very rare. When you see a two at the bottom, it means minim or half a note. Four means crotchet or a quarter note. Eight means quiver or eighth note. Sixteenth means semi-quiver or sixteenth note. Let me demo to you how we count the beats when we see different time signature. I will do it on the table and you practice along. When you see two four, it means two crotches in a bar. The way we count is this. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'm going to do it slightly faster for three, four. It means three crotchets in a bar. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, when you see four, four, it means four crotchets in a bar. This can be represented by a common time, which is a C. So instead of writing 4-4, four, four, you may see some people, they will just write a C over here. It means the same thing, 4 crotchets in a bar. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. In each bar, longer or shorter notes can be used. So you may see a different combinations of different notes. The rule is, all the notes have to add up to the same number of beats in the time signature. Since there are quivers in the bars and even semi-quivers, I'm gonna use N when I count the beats. What do I mean? Here, I will say 1N, 2N. For the next bar, can I count 3N, 4N? No, I cannot because in each bar, there's supposed to be only two beats. So I have to restart and count 1N again. 1N. 2n. Similarly, I have to restart and count 1n, 2n, 1n, 2n, 1n, 2n. In each n, there is one quiver, which means there are two semi-quivers. Let's count 1n, 2n, 1n, 2 one and two and one and two and one and two and three fourth. Each bar should have three beats, but because of this weird combination, I'm gonna count in semi quivers. One crotchet has four semi quivers. So here there are two beats that should be eight semi quivers. I'll be doing it really slow, okay? Four, four, four beats in each bar. The combination looks manageable, so I can count in quivers. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's clap our hands to count this out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Here comes to the end of the session. I hope you have learned something. Comment below to share with me your thought. If you like this type of video, Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the bell button to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. What? You want to get a printable copy of this theory handout? Of course you can! Check out the link in the description box below. I've uploaded all the PDF files on my Patreon page. Remember, you get to access to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to play the very famous songs such as Amazing Grace, Row Your Boat, Brahms Lullaby, Love Me Tender, so on and so forth. Task for the week, practice the beats on the table. These beats, from slow to medium to fast.
next video on Theory Tuesday series, we're going to learn the time signature part 2. See you!